Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. I've noticed there is a new firmware update for the internal module of the Jumper T16. So I decided to produce a video on it to show you how to do the upgrade. I recently did the upgrade to my internal module where I had to do it manually because when I bought my T16 there was no bootloader, which I've done and there's a good video by uh, Joshua Bardwell and T-Mac um, who show you how to do this. But this is the first one I've done where I've, I've used the radio to update the firmware. Here is the web page you need to go to to download the latest version of the firmware for your Jumper T16 multi-protocol internal module. The latest version is 1.3.0.53. The choices you need to make are the channel orders, which in my case is RETA, and then also the either the INV or no INV file. I have to choose the no INV file, which I think is the one that you need to choose for your all the internal modules for the Jumper T16. Now you go to the bottom and then you select the correct firmware. So it's SMT OpenTX RETO A no INV. So click and in my case I'm going to say save as so that I can put it into a specific folder called RC Firmware. Now we need to put the firmware onto our Jumper T16 so that we can upgrade the firmware of the internal module. Now what we need to do is plug in our USB cable. Onto our radio. Sorry, more thumbs and fingers because I can't move the radio. Okay, turn our radio on. Welcome to OpenTX. Acro. Disarm motors. Mode 1. Okay, plug in the USB. Use the scroll wheel to go to storage. Okay. Now, you can see, uh, I see on our computer the firmware file has come up. Now, I'm in the RC firmware folder that I've already put onto my computer. So I'm going to copy the firmware, go to firmware on the USB drive that's popped up, which is my radio. You can see I've already got it in there, but I'm just going to paste it again. So replace. And there we go. Now we can switch over to our radio. We can unplug the USB port now. Carefully and to upgrade the firmware we need to go to system page across oops too many go back one scroll down to firmware pick the correct firmware i've got the old firmware on there and the new one click ok slave flash internal module That's right in the firmware. I've actually already done this, but I'm just doing it again to show you how to do it. Job complete. Press enter. And then we can go and return. And if we go into our model and we scroll down, we will see new firmware. Version 13053. All installed. And we can switch off our radio. Oh. Job done. I'm attempting to become a full-time YouTuber and what I want to do is I know that people are busy, have busy lives and they are, you know, work for eight, nine hours a day. So what I want to do is ask you guys if you'd like me to do videos when there are updates of the firmware for your Jumper T16. 
So as soon as I, I basically will check every day to find out if there are firmware updates for the module or the radio. Um, and then I will I put a, a short video out saying, hey guys, there's an update. So if you could let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to do that, then I will start doing that. If there's a critical update like there was recently for the T16, I will automatically put that out there to let people know because I would hate anybody to lose one of their models because of a problem with the radio. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below. I really would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.